POV signs on pretty early onto the project, and it was clear in terms of the goals that the filmmaker had, um, they were very specific. He wanted to really um, pump up the volume on the whole issue of food manufacture in this country. He had worked very closely with um, uh, journalists, um, and he really felt that it was very important with Michael Pollan, with Eric Slosser, um, to really discuss food safety in this country today. And if you look at the overall campaign, and he had very impressive partners. Um, POV signs on as a co-producer of the film, as I said early on, and participant came on, uh, uh, Magnolia came on, various other impressive groups. And um, the film, if we look at the results of when the film uh, was distributed theatrically, you know, more than four million dollars were, you know, this was the, one of the highest grossing films that were distributed theatrically. And you look at that and you say, oh gosh, he has a certain level of success just in terms of his theatrical distribution. In terms of audience, he reached m millions of people through the POV broadcast. Um, on average, the audience numbers for um, Food Inc were about a 1.3 household rating for the national um, numbers and probably a 1.87 million vi viewers that came to POV's first national broadcast. I'll give you information in terms of the local breakdown. In addition, in 2009, 120 moms from across the country delivered a petition to, um, to really in support of the Child Nutrition Act. Um, it was. Basically, they worked really hard over time to increase legislation because they felt that it was really important that public schools have some strict guidelines as to what children should be eating in schools. In 2010, that same position, um, petition was delivered and 250 organizations were signed on. Again, there's a movement of time over, ye over years from when he distributed the film theatrically through the POV broadcast. And we see that ultimately, you know, President Obama signed the Food Safety Modernization Act. And this was to really be able to inspect high risk facilities to test to test for pathogens and others. So it's very specific what he was going after, not only in terms of the legislation, but also in terms of policies that would impact children in schools and what they ate. Now, that having been said, and also the work that POV's community engagement department did, as well as POV's communications and marketing department and digital strategies, what we saw was when you, try to analyze impact versus what is actually done in the community to cause change. That's still a question in my mind. When Diana speaks earlier of, you know, the 10 points on how to, you know, impact a society, it's very hard, even with a film this big, for us to analyze, you know, if the f overall goal was that children should eat healthier food in public schools. This documentary did an enormous amount to move the dial in terms of that discussion, but still we need other markers to evaluate that. And so we'll talk about that in a little bit, but this is one example of a film that had a very large footprint, but then we still need to ask ourselves, what was the impact ultimately in local communities to real change?